we are back. <laughs> What's up? What? What? I don't know. You tell me. I ask We're you. in a swamp. Trivia. We're in a swamp. That's not trivia. It is. What if you didn't know? What if I didn't know that the apparent swamp we're in is is a swamp? Okay, imagine you're at pub trivia. Okay. Where were the beard bros? Ten seconds into the sixth episode of Banjo Kazooie. That's not <laughs> good pub trivia. Is this even the sixth episode of Banjo Kazooie? Yes, it is. Great. Welcome to the sixth episode of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I'm Alex from the Super Beard Brothers. <laughs> I'm Gerard from the Super Beard Brothers. <laughs> We're in this bubble gum swamp, bubble gloop swamp. Bubble, not I bubble gum. It. No bubble gloop. If it was bubble gloop. Oh, in man. French, they call it moldy swamp. Trivia. You already said that last time. Nobody knows. What if you're new? Thank you for joining Super Beer Brothers. So you gotta just run around under all those things. Basically. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> On life. <laughs> Dude, now they look all proud. Even though they're like low, low health. Wait, what are you supposed to do? Oh. How do you do the... <laughs> Just run? No, the da 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 Oh, da -da. maybe you gotta be a gator? Oh, that's what it is. Little boy. Let's go, let's go be the gator boy. I'm a gator man, baby. You said gator boy. I said to you later, boy. Dude, that's... Gator boy by Avril L Lavigne. Remember I was a girl. He was a... I can't even do it. Could it get any more weird? <laughs> I liked ballet. He uh, ate fish. Question of the day, raise your hand if you even remember that song. Uh, cause most of you are probably like 13. And you were children when it came out. Like, like, suckling from your mama's breast. At the age of 13? I'm saying you're 13 now, you maybe have never even heard of Skater Boy. Right? Yeah. Do you I even know who Avril Lavigne is? Have you even heard? I brought it up. I know I'm who she is. I'm not asking you. I know, I know you know who it is. I'm asking these I don't know. I don't know. hypothetical 13-year-olds that may or may not be watching Look, the show. Look, you're in a weird zone. You're the one that says that everything's trivia in the show, so I don't know what your brain is. Trivia. Avril Lavigne is Canadian. <laughs> now that is trivia. She used to be dating, I think, I, I don't know if she still is. She was married to the dude from Nickelback yeah, for a while. Chad Kroger. And then they broke. They broke? They broke. Damn. She was like, oh damn, it broke, dude. Sorry, damn. it's they had over. To pick up the pieces. Had to pick up the pieces of our. Look at this graph! Does anybody know who Nickelback is even? Are they still famous? What is their deal? Yo, I, we, I got roasted for making fun of Nickelback a lot. There's By a, who? A lot of people actually like Nickelback. Sorry that you have bad taste in music, but I will <laughs> roast you till the end of time if you like Nickelback, because that band, guess what? They're bad. Testament of time, Alex. Testament let me ask of you, time. Let me ask you this. Okay. What's worse, Lie to Me or Nickelback? Nickelback. <laughs> you heard it here first, first, folks. I've dedicated more time in my life already listening to uh, Lie to Me than I have Nickelback. <laughs> That's. <laughs> How can you take the high road if you're the guy who likes Nickelback? <laughs> like, I'm the weird one who doesn't like Nickelback. <laughs> They're famous for being shitty. <laughs> <laughs> At best, they're a guilty pleasure. <laughs> At best. Good lord. There's so much anger in Alex. Come at me. <laughs> Come at me. If that's how I go down, fighting Nickelback, I will. If uh, you also happen to be one of their children, I'm sorry that your parents aren't very good. Nah, you want to know what? I'm not a hater. You can love Nickelback. I don't care. I'm not going to stop you. You just ask me... If if you tell me I'm crazy for disliking them, you gotta screw loose, homie. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> you turn I'm to the alligator. Croc. Mumbo. Is it Mumbo? I am going. Yeah, I'm going. Dude, Bear and Bird do not look super good right now. Yeah. You said the bird looks like Aww. JJ? Oh, look at that. Look, they're dead. First death. First death. Put it on the board, guys. Trivia. We died once. So far. Trivia. It's not trivia. It's just fact. Put it on the wiki. You can't just... The wiki that no one's updating anymore? 
Somebody or is must. someone updating it? I don't know. I haven't gone on in a Shout while. Shout outs to you guys. Got to go to the wiki. Show some love to the wiki. Hold yeah. on. Can I just say we need to show some more love not only to the wiki but to the Reddit community of our completionists who are actively posting those post watches. It's a place for you to discuss Beard Bros episodes in a safe environment. And talk about your talk about your homework. Talk about your homework. You can sleep find Eevee, uh, sleepy other Eevee's people. like climbing the charts. You can go find other people there. who are mad at me about my love, of, my hatred of Nickelback. <laughs> I almost said my love of Nickelback. Can you imagine? <laughs> Croctus. Croctus. Oh, I did this over again. Dang. Did you? You didn't get all of them, right? No, I died. Yeah. Do we lose all of our progress? No, just the oh, uh, just just things you haven't finished. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I recall, I think there wasn't an auto save feature in the original Banjo Kazooie. So if you didn't save and you died, you lost it. I don't know. But I I don't remember. I only remember the good times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just only remember the good times. Actually, you know what? I just want to see real quick. Oh, we got two honeycombs here. We're going to find the honeycombs. Yep. Would you like to know where they are? Uh, <laughs> as long as you don't say the trivia. I mean, it is trivia in this case. Uh, there's one above the podium for Tip Top. And there's one oh, inside Mumbo's hut. Damn it, I should have known that. I should have known both those. The bad thing about getting to Mumbo every time is that you have to go this long way. We were so confident. What do you we mean? Were so, we were so sure that we were going to crush this, and we're four, up, four levels in, and we're like, Oh shit! No, what are you Where talking about? Fuck? Get out of here, we're still crushing it. <coughs> I'm having a great time. I love this game. I died once. I love this game with I'm all my heart. I'm not even that lost. I know. I, I you know. I read that on the Beer Bros Wiki. Only one death. Very good trivia on there. <laughs> Get out of here. Whoever does the trivia for that show is pretty pretty infallible. Great. And I heard he has great taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys missed it earlier. My dad was in the office. It was so great. He. he Gerard's dad loves, he always just tells me, every time he sees me, good job on the album. Big Bad Bosses, buy it on iTunes. Power my, overwhelming. My, my dad doesn't, my, I told my dad several times, he doesn't realize there's more songs than just I'm the Boss. He hasn't listened to the album. No. He just he, really likes I'm the Boss. He just loves I'm the Boss. He's like, good job on the album, the song, I'm the Boss. Like, that's what you're known for. <laughs> and I'm like, dad, you know there's like there's Did like you tell him there's songs. one that you're like the main guy in? Yeah, he doesn't understand. <laughs> But he's like, I'm the boss, though. That Dude, I understand. When that physical album drops, he's gonna be psyched. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't he have an iPhone? He just. That's, he's that like was the, the champion thing, of the that Apple was Watch. The thing, that's the thing we got him last last week. My dad's a new Apple user. An new, iPhone. A man. new iPhone user. So he has an Apple Watch now. Yes. Dude, you should have seen him when he when when he <laughs> when he found out about the Apple Watch. He he's called Gerard. While from I was the there, watch, just to show me that he could do it. That's my dad. He loves that. That's like his jam. He loves like 60s style spy stuff. Yeah. That's great. Now he just loves new tech and he loves showing it off. Alright. Her. Her. I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Vile, greediest I'm croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Let's go. Let's go, bish. This is... I always thought this was fun, too. I, I always really like this. Eating stuff in games always feels good when there's like a little bit of texture to it. So do you know if you collect 35 Yumblies, you get an extra life? Really? And isn't it weird that Mr. Vile looks like Claptrap from Donkey Kong Country? It's the same sprite? And did you know that Mr. Vile's the answer to one of Gruntilda's quiz questions? Wow. Which was, which Banjo-Kazooie character wasn't seen in Banjo-Tooie? 
And if you lose against Mr. Vile, you can escape before you get bitten if you're quick enough. Did you know that? You sound... Trivia. If you're struggling to beat him in the first two rounds, there's a glitch. Did you know that? No. For ten seconds, don't eat any yumblies. And he'll move really slowly. And then when you start to eat him, he'll still be slow. We tied. What? You tied? You tied? I tied. Try the glitch. What do I do? Get out. So you just wait. <laughs> Don't eat anything. And then he'll move all slow for a little while. And then you do it. I don't think you waited long enough, but we'll see. Oh, uh. You should be able to run train on this dude. <laughs> that word affected Brett so much he had to touch you about it. He didn't touch like, me, did he? He like leaned in to be me? like, what did you just say? Brett's here, you guys. Check out Super Couch Fighters. On Couch YouTube. Fighters, dudes. We're, the dojo, it's coming soon. Featuring Gerard. Every Road time. to Evo. Gerard's gonna get good. G I'm going to Evo. G -U -D. Guys, if you're coming to Evo, be real somewhere, come say hello. Geef's gonna beat Evo. I'm gonna beat Evo. I'm gonna be at Evo. I'm you're, gonna go to Evo. You're coming too? Why wouldn't I go to Evo? I don't know, you tell me. There's no, literal no reason why I would not go to Evo. I love Evo. Sure, you only win easy game, now we play a harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, wait ten seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. This is so hard. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go. Now he's gonna go all slow, and you're just gonna chill and eat grumblies or whatever. Is he Yumblies. He's not slow for the rest of the game, is he? Yeah. What? That's a real thing? He's just slow yeah. for the rest of the game? Yeah. Apparently, that's what it says. I mean, I could be wrong. He's got fast again. I don't think he's fast. Oh, yeah, look, he's, he's moving fast. I think it slows down his ability to, like, get up to the fast speed that he normally gets to at the end. I don't know anything, dude. I'm just reading the trivia. I'm a journalist. Not a completionist. Wow. Sounds like some haterade thrown my way. Haterade? No, it's the opposite. I was haterading myself. I was the one ah, who took the shot. Ah, lucky green wins. Must play last game, only eat what is shown at top of screen? What? Yeah, this one's the hard one. Get the red guys. And then you gotta watch oh, because I it's see. Turn it changes. Yellow. So I'll keep an eye on that guy at the top there. Yellow. Oh, you son of a gun. Red. Crush it. Oh, crush it. Crush it up. Crush it up. Take his friggin' things. Yellow time. Get in it. Don't let oh, him get you. He's so fast. He's so fast. I told you, don't let him. You gotta let him. You gotta stay on top of his ass. Get that yellow dude. Oh, red. We're back to red. Oh. Oh. You're still ahead. Oh. Oh. Change. Yellow time. Oh, they're all hot. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's catching up. Stay ahead of him. Yes! Holy shit, dude. Wow. Yes! Deal with it. Deal with it. Get my, get my glasses on. We should have got the speed shoes. This would have been so easy. Uh, oh. they're not- they don't show up till later in the game, though. Oh, I see. They're for if you're struggling and you come back. I understand. I think you actually cut the, there's a point in the game where you come back and play the minigame again. I understand. If I recall. I-I-R-C. What? If I recall correctly. Uh, alright, what else do we gotta do here? Get the last- we got two more, uh, jiggies. jiggies. One's a Jinjo, and one's that alligator thing, and we're done. We're crushing this. Can you believe it? Look yeah. at us. We're pros, that's why. Jinjo! <laughs> <laughs> Jinjo! 
Fred, have you played this game? <laughs> he said hell no, just in case anybody could hear. Never had a Nintendo 64. Dude, you got a three. Damn. You got a 360 though. Now you have every reason to go play it. Look All at right, this. So look at this limitless gameplay. We're missing five notes. Where would they be if I was a note? If I was a note, I don't think getting into the mind of the note's gonna help you much. Hmm. There's some in the maze. In all the corners, pretty much, on the islands. It's hard to tell which ones you've gotten and which ones you haven't, because there's just- I just have like a giant overhead map of the area with the notes on it. Do 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 do. Found them! There they are, dog! One... Do... Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were- I thought we were toast. Look how fucking happy they look. Oh! Yeah! Alright, so you... Do you know what the last uh, puzzle piece yes, is? Yes, sir. It's oh, the, the alligators. The alligators. It's the gators. But of course. I'm gonna go turn in our... Uh, turn back to our former self. Ikam bokam. Ikam bok. Ikam bokam. If I was ever a voice actor in like a AAA video game, I would want to have a voice like that. <laughs> Where you hear me a lot, but you have no idea it's me. That's what I want. That's what I want for me. Are you having to press that? Yeah. That you just like chomping as the gator? Uh. We need to get, uh, the last uh, honeycomb piece as well, which is inside of the turtle. Let's go do that too. Do 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 do. See, this is the. Oh, this is the bad yeah, thing about this is kind of annoying. You gotta run around. I wish you could like destroy an uh, opening. So you have to go through this every time. So but... Mumbo, I don't really know what Mumbo's deal is. He's a witch doctor. He doesn't really seem to speak English because he says like like super well because he like speaks in like stilted English kind of. But I, I, I just want to know what he is. Also, shout outs to his weird overalls in nuts and bolts. Like he looks weird as hell in nuts and bolts. Look at him. Whoa! Patrick, Patrick, show everybody mumbo jumbo in nuts and bolts. It come, oh come. It looks weird. He's wearing like overalls. It is kind of creepy. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Uh, what do we have? What, what we? What can I say about him? He uh, he's got a lot. Okay, so Ikumbokum and Umanaka are yeah. You were right. It's all Grant Kirkhope. Yep, and it's also in the Mayahem Temple level. In Banjo 2? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. And which apparently on Game Grumps he said... Was him saying, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Umanaka. Oh, God. Apparently also, Umanaka is Uminaker. Which is, uh, something that Grant said when he was getting his groin examined. <laughs> That's because so funny. Knacker is... Hit your balls. Hit your balls. I love Grant Kirko. If you guys have not heard Bears and Birds, how about this? Yeah. At the end of this playthrough, a promise is we will play Grant Kirkhope's Bears and Birds off the Big Bad Boss's album Uncut. Great. The you filthy version. <laughs> I feel like we should do the censored one because of what we're doing. What do you mean? We have a censored version on the album uh, that's replaced with banjos and kazoos anytime he swears. Oh yeah, that's true. That's that's not the one on the album though. They're both on the album. Oh yeah, they're at the, the other ones at the end. That's yeah. Right. You know, I've never actually listened to the retail version of the album. I only ever have downloaded the final files and listened to them. Yeah, I actually bought it. Off yeah, of I, iTunes. I bought it. I just never listened to it. I just wanted to have. I just wanted to own it. All right, so we need to find the the, the gators. <coughs> I think uh, the gators. The yeah, the gator statues. Did I do the one up here? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. So now we're gonna go. Talking about Croctus. Yeah, the Croctus. Croctus boys. Croctus. Croc boys. 
Dota. Do daddy da dota. Uh, okay, so you got the one on the upper level, and then there's one in the village, and then behind the crocodile hut, and then behind tank top. Yes, yeah, so we gotta do. It's up there. Yeah. Banjo Tooie is objectively harder. It's a harder game. I just don't know. I just don't remember. I like Banjo Tooie, I have not played since it came out. I like suffered playing it. You suffered? No way. Dude, there's some bullshit. You played in that Metal game. Gear Solid. That game was that tough. That was suffering. Banjo, Banjo Tooie is tough. It's not easy. It's a much difficult game. Much more difficult game than this one. I would love to see that. Are you saying that we have to do Banjo Tooie now? I'm not saying we have to. I'm not, damn. I'm not opening that door myself. If you, if you want to see me, see, you're seeing me right now, like somewhat good at Banjo. <coughs> uh, -huh. uh, you will see me cry a lot when we do Tooie. I see. Literal tears? Maybe. Uh, we're, as hard I, as I, I cried when I couldn't. As hard as I cried when I couldn't pull down the uh, the Star Destroyer <laughs> in The Force Awakens. It's uh, behind the crocodile hut. Croctus. Croctus. Hell yeah. And then that's behind t uh, Tank Top. And then that's it, right? Yep. It's crazy that he's just chilling with his mouth wide open like that with his hands inside of his shell. He's in shock, dude. Give me oh. a break. Hashtag not all turtles. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> his eyes are wide open, too. Oh, he's, he's even he's blinking. blinking. I think he's just like, uh -huh. he's like, thank uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Did I just, like, repel that? I don't know what happened there. What? 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 I only have two eggs left. You have some more right there. What the? That is going in his mouth, dude. What? Oh boy. We, I don't understand. We're doing it right. There's four more eggs for you there. Uh, oh. You gotta go get those honeycombs first, yeah. Yeah! I love watching him get happier. It's so funny. It pleases me to no end for some reason. You think maybe it's just a question of, like, you have to do it from here? Croctus is a fickle mistress. <laughs> that was really weird. Croctus is a fickle-ass mistress. Yeah. All right, friends. We gotta get the last Jiggy. Didn't we? Uh, no, we had to get the Jiggy... The last Jiggy what in the... What Jiggy are we missing? I mean, like, the, the stage Jiggy. We unlocked. We, we hit the, the Gruntilda switch. Oh, we didn't get that? No, it's on the outside of the world. Oh, 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 okay. I understand. Yeah, let's go get it. Why not? I forget do where it is, but... Uh, it is the, uh, fourth floor of... It's the hat of the Grunty statue. Remember it, like, turned it into, like, up. a bunch of boogers or whatever? No, I don't remember the booger part. It's just, like, her hat turned into a bunch of bullshit and then just flew away. Wait. I just gotta figure out how to get it. I gotta into it. That's all. It's the statue. I know, but we can't get into the statue from here. You have to get up to the fifth floor and get up on that statue. I see. Because it's her hat. It's her head. Yeah, because so now we have um, the uh, enough notes to go into the next world. So, the next part of the house. 
the next part of the house. Yeah, this is her house. We're in her house. It's a. I mean, okay. I guess technically it's her. It's it is her home. I wouldn't call it a house. I mean, I'd say it's her home. Grunty's <laughs> house, dude. Not all witches. So now you're on the fifth floor, right? Yeah. So you're gonna break through the br brick wall. Oh, right here. I know what to do now. And then, uh... It's the shock jump one. Why isn't it- it's not activated yet. We have to activate the... What? It's not there, though. All that was there is... There's other bricks. Oh, you're right. Oh. Yeah. So you go down here, and then I think you have to like bash yeah. the switch. Yeah. Deal with this stunod. Stunod. I don't know what that means. That might be an awful word, but <laughs> my grandma used to say it all the time. She's Croatian. Is that the uh, grandma who last meal was the McRib? Yes. Yes, it was. I love you, Grandma. Uh, it's Italian slang for a stupid person, apparently. So that's- I'm okay with it. Whoa! Look at you. yo -ho? Look at you. Look at us. We're certainly not stew nods. No, man. No. No, man, that ain't me. Hell yeah. Alright, friends. More Banjo-Kazooie next time on Super Beard Bros. Until then, party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Later, man.